different Jane, place than a shouting bench. match. One who She's just filthy. All right, Sharon, stand by. Kid. All right, stand by. Go ahead, Sharon. What do you want to say? And then I'm going to go to the audience. Well, I just don't care to stand here and try to shout over somebody that obviously can speak louder than I can. You, you, obviously, it takes you want to lie behind the scenes. Have people no. arrested let me behind just, the scenes. What has this woman done? This woman is trying to hold a job what in a business, and what did, you've come along. Dear, was hire 25 no, thugs to beat. No, what did I do before that? Beat. Then what did I do before that? Why are they in jail? jail. No, That's what she that. did. Here's right. the way it that. happened. She's on the Gay and Lesbian Task Force, which is trying to get our city government to pass laws that give these fags the right special to marry. protection. Equal. And the right Equal to marry. Equal protection is what they're saying. Special. All right. Stand up here, ma'am. Come on. Force appointed by the mayor. Quickly, and audience it's a political together fight. Fight. All, all right, stand she by. She wants to do all the good. This is for, this is for Reverend Phelps here. I'm listening to you speak about this as soon as your campaign, that this hate campaign that you have, that you're putting out, then you wonder why people are jumping and, and going against you to fight you and everything, because well, everything that you're saying and everything that you're doing is wrong. We love it all. You are happening right now. All. all right, wait. We don't care if they disagree. He, don't he misunderstand. We okay. love it when they disagree. Mr. Keep Phelps. your hands off of Mr. us, Mr. Phelps. The ideas that you and your family are espousing ring very, very strongly of the policies in Germany during World War II. Oh, and I'm that was government. Look, we don't spend and I'm afraid of people dollar. like you. We don't use Thanks. one bit of government force or tax dollar. We use moral suasion. If we can't permit... Per well, you know what you also did, you Shirley? It's my That's understanding that some people in Topeka received faxes with our Jane Whitney Show logo on them, looking like we were endorsing your appearance or your philosophy on oh, this show. Oh, If you See, want to get Well, they that, were sent to us we'll by your people. Another show it seems to, to me that. you'll use anybody or anything we'll to manipulate people to believe Bible what you think. Anybody you and everybody. All right. Preach the Bible. Well, all right. Do you have one of the faxes? Yes, we do. Well, let's see it. Next, then. a television reporter who was the victim of another vicious attack by Reverend Phelps. He was a closeted homosexual until the Reverend told the whole town he was gay. We'll be back. not want me preaching at those funerals, but if you believe Luke 16, the last seven verses, those guys in hell want me preaching at their funerals. Critics of Topeka Reverend Fred Phelps say he's destroying people's lives while claiming to be on a holy mission to stop homosexuality. Russ is one of them. He was a television news reporter in Topeka who didn't want people to know he was gay. Even his family didn't know until Reverend Phelps mounted one of his fax blitzes and outed Russ's sexual orientation. Why did he target you? Uh, I'd, I'd been covering Reverend Phelps. He's an unsuccessful gubernatorial candidate, an unsuccessful is, senatorial candidate. Uh, just basically an unsuccessful person in the public forum, and uh, during all that, during uh, one effort that he was making in Topeka, he was uh, picketing in efforts to get the uh, new dancing bars, heterosexual new dancing bars, closed down in our areas, and I was covering that episode. And uh, one day I, I covered that, and in the story that I did, I brought out that uh, Mr. Phelps is a disbarred attorney, uh, which he is. <laughs> And uh, that night, I got a phone call from one of his daughters, also an attorney, who uh, told me that I should quickly and with haste uh, retract that. And uh, I said, well, the story was accurate, it was fair, it was objective, and I have no intention to. And she made very thinly veiled threats that uh, I should. Oh, I told her that she should uh, right away, if she had a problem with it, talk to my news director or my general manager. And she very clearly said, no, her, her problem was with me and that she would settle it with me. And She's I not said here, I had nothing so he else can to lie talk about what she said with impunity. Okay, let him finish. Um, so the next day I came into work, uh, another day at the office, and as I walked into the newsroom, our office where we gather every morning before we go out on stories, everyone was gathered around one of the Reverend's faxes. And uh, this uh, felt fax said that... It, uh, no, actually, absolutely not. He uh, ran for it, uh, office and denied he was a fag. All right, let, let him just finish, please. Well, he's talking too long and telling too many lies. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna let these this lies This is what we live with in Topeka day after day after okay. day. This is a man who either makes things up about people or finds something from their past that he believes can hurt he them. He ran for he office has hurt many and people, said he wasn't a fag. And I'm one fag. of those people. He ran this for office. This is what happened. I walked into the office. People were gathered around the facts. And as anyone would do in an office, everyone's gathered around something. Well, something must be interesting here. Get to your here. point, Russ. I went up to see what was going on. It was a Phelps fax. It says, Russ is a homosexual. And indeed, I was. 
but nobody, none of my peers, Cause you my lied boss, about my family, nobody knew that at Cause the time. You lied it was about not it. anything that I had dealt with personally at the time. And uh, so it was a real shocking thing. It was a devastating emotional experience to go through at the time. A real time. painful thing because this is something that suddenly has become public information. Yeah, this was truth. my worst How do you think nightmare we found all that? of my truth life. My think entire think life, I lived with the nightmare of the somebody coming out with this information. And then this man bothering uh, little that kids. Day. People need to know about you. Excuse me, who well, said he ever bothered little kid. kids? I said it, and we get people calling us, telling us these things. How do you think do you we think found we out he was a fag? All right. All right. How do you think we found out? All right, stand by. Stand He's by. a fag and denying it. That's a lie. I you, never denied that yes, I was a fag. Yes, you did. I never denied that I was a fag. Until the night before the election, you denied you were a fag. I never denied that I was a fag or homosexual. Okay, we're not going to settle it. Since we're against him. You loud lying fag. <laughs> well, what I'd like to know is, I, I am a gay man, what I'd like to know is why, if you want to put us all black in the closet, why did you bring this man out of the closet? Because he's... After, after You've got years, a guy here Jane, who is in a position of, of public... A all right, years, he's in a position facts of... Facts after facts after facts. Of having, he's terrorizing our community. Talking. No one was doing he anything. In, he's talking. A few months ago, I resigned my opinion. position at the station and ran for city council. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay. And that is when, the the is when is I dealt with it to personally us. where okay, I dealt with it. Wait a second. He asked a very bona fide question. The question is, is that this guy is in a position to mold public opinion. His stories are skewed to promote the fag agenda. People need to know when a fag is skewing stories why he's so skewing them. So we said he's them. a right. fag. So you he made holds that a point. news conference and says, I'm not right. a fag. Oh, he Reverend Fouch. Yeah, sure he did. did. I, was I, 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 lie. I am not um, with the gay and lesbian. You're a minister. You're not doing your job correctly. That's for you're God doing it decide, with arrogance, dear, and God does not like what you're doing. If you want, if you want to win sinners, Lord you God have to win them in love. You have to win the gay and lesbian people in love. You are not preaching what God wants you to preach. Okay. Jane, first of all, I never denied that I was gay. Ever did I deny that I was gay? And as a sure matter of fact, I held right, a news conference. Why I'm you sorry. Secondly, I think it's important. One at a time. I would like to ask Shirley a question, if I could. I read an article in the, in the Topeka um, Capital Journal uh, where she was quoted as saying about how violent uh, the picket lines get, how the physical attacks that they have to take and the, and the uh, uh, physical uh, by word of mouth abuse and that she felt it was very dangerous out there. My question is to her, if that's the case, then how can they bring the little children out there and subject to okay. these my answer is, how dare you ask that question? Uh, you fags create an atmosphere where you fag. cannot Shut exercise. Up. I'm not a fag. You, right, you asked the question. You, you are a fag. fag. All right. You cannot exercise your First Amendment rights of free speech. You know what? First Amendment rights when it comes to raising fags children. Fags send the terrorists and then say, there's terror out there. Reverend Quit. Phelps, I'm what, answering what if, the question. Okay, but I'll but you, get to but, the children. Okay, but there are people who would argue, like psychologists, that when you drag your kids into an you know an Don't arena of persecution, Terms, I'll you in the first come place, meeting. You've used your own pejorative those terms. I'll use a few of my own. Uh, the point is, you could be doing They're emotional harm. The fags are violent. You, you could be doing I'm harming my children because there I teach them what the Bible says. There are people who would argue that because of your beliefs, well, that you're putting them at risk. All right, There's break. We'll be respect. back. What about fags? If your friend is making a play for your spouse and he says you're imagining it. Please call 1 800 370 2712. Send your letter in care of Jane Whitney, Columbus Circle, Post Office Box 20314, New York, New York 10023. and some of his family members, and they're trying to wipe out the homosexual lifestyle. And what do you want to say? Okay, I have the impression that you have a lot of hatred for anybody who's, <laughs> anybody who's different than you, not only the homosexuals, but Jews, African Americans, whatever. And you can, find, you can quote scripture to justify your hatred. My comment is this. I think your vision of heaven is one in which everybody is just like you. And for me, that's a vision of hell. Maybe you better understand. bears in.
answering. What these people need to understand is that this group of lawyers comes with some credentials. We have been in Topeka, Kansas for the last 25 years protecting the rights. We have, we've been the most effective civil rights firm in the state of Kansas. And made a lot of money off the blacks. Oh, we're wrong. Yeah. civil rights, yeah. too. We deserve civil blacks. rights, too, no. and equal civil rights. rights. Equal this rights. This is an issue equal of people rights, who not engage special rights. in an And I'm glad they're on the show because now the rest of the choice. country gets to see how ignorant and bigoted they are. Yeah. And it's because, wait, 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 wait. It's because of people like them that the past All 12 years of Republican rule has not dealt with the AIDS crisis. No, it's time for everyone to act up. We all have to realize what, you know, what he's preaching is hatred. You We're understand that there you. are legitimate minorities. Women are born as they are. Blacks are born as no, they are. We, People no, are all born by what you do, engaged. not by what you are born. This is very important. This is a very good example they of what happens. They engage in an activity. Uh, your big you mouth is a good choice. example of prejudice. They talk, they talk, they talk, and maybe they could actually learn something from that man it, who Russ. just stood up. You got or fired from other people in this audience, but they will not listen. You got fired for that big mouth. People are well. born gay. People are born straight. People are born with hazel eyes. I'm an act up. I'm also a Christian. This God. man that's makes me want to pray for him. Uh, you, Jesus did not say one word regarding Jesus of Nazareth. Don't talk Sir, about Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, yeah. you don't yeah. own the Lord, your and your kind of hatred cannot co-opt my Christ. You need prayer, sir. You need redemption. What you and need I, need I, I am so glad the Baptist you know churches are autonomous because I, my uncles the Baptist ministers would be embarrassed to you act Thank up you. people are the most you know, violent people on earth. Can I, Reverend, wait a second. Reverend Phelps, i got to tell you, during the break, and share this with the home viewers as well, people in the audience are absolutely outraged that you will not let anyone finish a sentence. Well, what I'm outraged I, is that you let them keep talking for five minutes, I'm followed sorry. by applause, this and then don't let any response uh, come excuse by. Excuse me, this is a show about different points of view, including the folks in our audience. Yes, and Why our points, points of view. Of view we heard your yeah. point of view. No, We've heard you it haven't for heard it, and we're going to respond when people lie on God and the Bible. Whether you like it or not, my dear. All right, we're hearing in a sense about fags and AIDS and everything else. What I would like to know in a sense, what about the whole population in a sense that is living with AIDS that is not necessarily homosexual? I deal with people every single I'm sorry day. For those innocent I deal with people every single day. In fact, 90% of my population at my support the program is dealing with AIDS and they have they, they have they enough fears. In the brain. Okay. Look, let me just say something once and for all. Reverend Phelps, if you cannot see fit to try well, and respect other people's point. He made his point. How can you be heard? How can you be heard if you're talking over everybody? I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not suggesting you do that. All I'm suggesting well, is you maybe if, listen if for 30 seconds. If you will, it's your sh show. But as long as I'm here, I'm going right. to reply Wait when lies that, like that question. come out of people's mouths. How can you reply before you even let listen him, to what let these him people get are the saying? Question now. The question is, what about the innocent victims? All right. You said, what about the innocent victims? And the we, answer is. We heard victims. from some of those innocent victims after that 2020 question. segment. Some poor guy who is a hemophiliac in Florida who has been, had it for 13 years. He's been with the HIV virus. His point, his position is, shame on him. They gave us this disease. The fags all right, that's, killed all right. You've answered, you've answered the question. Go ahead, give me a patient. Um, you have said that you do not have the law on your side, but yet your whole family seems to be law lawyers. We have the law on our side. Right. The yeah, fags but, are lawless. I also they have another comment. Excuse me. Amendment. Excuse me. I have another comment. Well, you made you a seems, false statement. Excuse you me. Excuse me. You know what it seems to me? That you're lacking lie. respect. From the time you were young, you've been lacking respect, and I it shows here. Fifteen-year-old pipsqueak talking to a sixty-three-year-old man like that about yeah, respect. Okay. Shame on you. Shame on you. I think she made you her point no very quickly. Very you quickly. Hate the this Bible. is, this That's is your gonna problem. be uh, quick because I'm gonna talk over you because I can't get loud. Well, look, uh, you're don't talking start about like that. Ask you feel sorry for question innocent people. To rouse this All right, rabble. I am an innocent person with AIDS. I have never sold my butt bags, on the street. The I have never taken drugs. I have not slept with a faggot. But I have AIDS. And you ought to be but I am a child of God. You ought to be thankful no matter for what you have to say about it, I am you. still God's child. Well, and anybody who has this disease is a child of God. If you're going to be in the New York area and would like free tickets to our show, please call 1-800-771-2700.
Say, are you game? I am an ACDC gay. I do it. And you know what? I have no problems with it. For five years, I well, studied hell, at the undergraduate and graduate level theology, so we can go head to head. We it's obvious that right. fundamentalists Telling like you, you distort and choose facts. You are ridiculous. You, you teach your people you're hatred, you send their souls to hell. And all that you teach your people hatred, you send their souls to hell. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Enough fag love equals lust. God yeah. hates fags. Was a disease for evil people. This yeah. family would be right. so busy looking for a yeah. cure than to be bothered. God hates fags. Jane, I want to tell you a few stories from Topeka, Kansas. This God man hates fags. Rush. Rush. Reverend, Reverend Phelps, you know, we really have heard that repeatedly. We're trying to move on and get some new information. Russ, I want to hear what he has to say because he really hasn't had a chance to talk. He's okay? had a lot of chance, but what has he got on his mind? This man has be gotten short. a hold of confidential blood bank information about one of our city council members and sent on a fax uh, declaring that this individual has AIDS. In fact, she doesn't, but Not. she does have, is a lie. She has been exposed to the hepatitis virus. This man got a hold of a confidential electronic oh, mail a sent from our district did. attorney to her husband during a horrible time in their relationship when she had an affair. And in this letter, she admitted to the affair. Well, of he got a hold of that and whore. sent that over our entire She's community. This man I'm either makes something up preacher. or finds something in the closet. Okay. Right, and it is a community. I feel like I'm in a Giants game, In, in, in a nutshell, right. it's a community that has been terrorized terrorized into silence by intimidation, feeling that they can't say anything about this man without facing this. This man comes here today to talk about what happened to his brother. Right. Look, we're going to take a break. We're going to hope that maybe our viewers have stereo listening capacity, and we're going to try and sort this out. We'll be back. You're watching our guests talking about their own life experiences. If you have a personal story that you'd like to share with our show, please call 1-800-370-2712. I'm All right, we're going to hope everybody, unless everybody else talk, and what do you want to say? Well, I I'm a minister. I'd like to recommend to everyone, don't argue theology yeah. with this man. This is an argument about mental health. There's He's someone on 90... <laughs> There's someone on 96th Street here in New York who we cannot get put no away. He attacks That's children, he attacks women because of the civil rights that, that we all enjoy. We can't do anything about it. And I'm afraid we're stuck with him because Absolutely. of the Constitution. That's all the, there is to it. It's not about theology, not about God. He's mentally disturbed. It's yeah. obvious. Right? Sir, it seems to me that, uh, Bible, sir, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm being, I'm being respectful. Well, but she didn't uh, let me answer him, so um, my, my My comment is, it seems to me, by the, the way you're speaking and the, the way you're so in your face, um, yes. it seems to me that you're going to be scaring people away as opposed to bringing them into God. No Listen, man that's can what come unto me except the Father not which one bit word about him. that. Did God Almighty saves souls, yeah, not Fred okay. Phelps. Andy, who that's came that's here right to here. talk about his brother's memory, violated by the Phelpses, a perfect example of something Oh, uh, give it a rest, Rush. What is your big mouth is happening right here. This is classic oh, Phelps. Oh, Phelps. Oh, Phelps. Your big mouth got you fired, brother. I think we've seen this. Your big mouth got you fired from the TV store. He picketing for the families of AIDS victims. And well, he's not God is hurting well, we the to not you. hurting the people the who have died. We preach he is to hurting you. the families and the friends. Yeah. Okay. Go to ahead. try you're to save them from hell. The, you, let me just tell this young woman, you're going to you. you're going to get the last word here. Thank you, wow. Reverend Phelps. This Watch it. this does not get any comeback from you. Watch it. I never heard of you before today, and I hope I never do again well, until so it's your obituary. Out of time. Joining us, I don't even know where the camera is.